Hello all, this is Yojo, Ojo, and today I'm going to talk about Martin Luther King, Harvey Milk, Black History Month, LGBT History Month, and LGBT Pride Month. Now a lot of you know Dr. Martin Luther King, you know at least the basics, of course you know when he was born, you may not know the exact year, and so on and so forth. But not a lot of people know about Harvey Milk, so I'm going to talk about him more. Harvey Milk was born... May 22nd, 1930, and died November 27th, 1978, at the age of 48, due to an assassination. He was a politician of a, in a position that doesn't exist anymore. Shortly after his assassination, they stopped doing a lot of what, what they were doing at that time. Um, openly gay Jew and a business owner on top of that he used his he used a lot of his business of where he was doing things out of to do his uh political candidacy stuff um harvey milk's birthday unlike martin luther king's is not a recognized national holiday we don't get the day off and stuff and i guess we won't until uh queer people have equal rights like black people do um as far as black history month goes i don't i don't go for it one i'm not a history person that pretty much marks off my argument for everything else but if you think that fuck you um and it's just Pete, i can tell you as a black person that observes other black people we don't care about history and white people don't care about pretending to care about us we, they, it really it's really like a cycle of nothing i appreciate the acknowledgement but you know why is the acknowledgement first of all on the month that has only 48 day uh, 48 28 days and cold weather like at the start of the year when like really nobody's doing anything it, the only thing people really pay attention to is like valentine's day and it's like with with the whole Black History Month vibe, it kind of kind of messes up Valentine's Day for those who care because it's like you have to remind people of the oppression, like we're not reminded every day already. And um, LGBT History Month, I think, is is in either October or November, and it's like, I like I said, I appreciate the acknowledgement, but it's like when you put the spotlight on something in such a way, it kind of acknowledges acknowledges the 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 oppression of it it's like it shouldn't be set aside to be special it should be alongside everything else equally like what dr martin luther king and harvey milk and many other civil rights leaders that go more unnoticed were trying to say all along that's what i'm saying and LGBT Pride Month, which is in June, I find way more necessary because one, it's a, for our um, hemispheres, it's a summer month and it's actually something that people can celebrate in, of course, if it's not too hot. And it's like, instead of focusing on what people had to go through in the past and it's pretty much like a tormenting idea especially of an oppressed people like uh people that aren't white and people that aren't uh heterosexual it's it's a joyous thing it's like it's our month to be you know as out loud as we can you know it's summertime so we can have on all our bright colors and do whatnot it's, i think that if you're going to give somebody acknowledgement that's what you need you need to it's always important to remember where you came from but you have to know where you are now and know what you need to do in the future it all adds up and that's that's just what i want to say about that i'll talk to y'all later bye